Hi guys, welcome back to my channel. This is Anna the Nutritionist and today I want to talk to you guys about nutrition before and after exercise. This is specifically targeted for those of you who are looking to lose weight or lose fat. So if you are somebody who is looking to gain weight and put on lean muscle mass, then some of this advice might not be relevant for you. And if you have specific strength training goals or if you're an athlete with performance goals, then your nutrition timing might might need to be even more precise than what we're going to talk about here. So for those of you who are trying to lose weight and lose fat and you are increasing your exercise, you may have questions around what to eat and when to eat before and after exercise, then stay here and keep on watching. Gyms has recently reopened in Hong Kong and I'm sure many other places will follow soon as well. So hopefully this video is helpful for you guys to look at nutrition before and after exercise. For the purpose of this video, I'm also going to make the assumption that your exercise type could vary. It could be cardio, it could be weight training or other types of training. But in general, I'm going to assume that your average exercise duration is around 60 minutes. You may work out for shorter or longer than 60 minutes, but on average, um, that's going to be my assumption here. With that being said, I'm actually gonna go and make my breakfast slash brunch slash pre-workout meal for today. It's around 11 a.m. right now and I'm going to be hitting the gym at 1 p.m. today. So let's go. Here is my pre-workout brunch today. I'm having some Greek yogurt with granola and blueberries and drizzle of honey. I also have some savories here. This is turkey slices and a hard-boiled egg. When we think about nutrition before exercise, the goals are to really supply your body with fuel in order to sustain your energy level during the workout, to boost your performance, to also hydrate you, and to help you preserve your muscle mass. before exercising is going to help you maintain or even increase your lean muscle mass through training and it also reduces some of the markers that will lead to muscle damage having carbs before your training is actually also a really important aspect in terms of fueling your training and making sure that you have a sustained energy level in order to perform well especially if you are actually in weight training then in my experience having some carbs before my training session will always help me perform better in terms of the weight that i can lift and also the reps that i can do and lastly in terms of fat there's actually not much um, research to show that there is significant improvement in terms of pre-exercise nutrition. So if you feel like including some healthy fats will make your meals more complete, then go ahead and do that. But it's probably not the key nutrient when we're looking at pre-exercise nutrition. Now moving on to during exercising, then all you really need is hydration. So make sure you drink plenty of water before, during, and after your training session, especially if you are actually training outdoors in the summer when there's more heat and you're sweating more. 
If your goal is to lose body weight or lose body fat and you are just training around a 60 minute session, whether it's cardio or resistance training, there's really no need to eat within your training session. But then of course, if you are training for a longer period of time, let's say you're actually training for a marathon and your running sessions are more than two hours long, then those are the scenarios where you kind of want to consider having foods or snacks inserted in your training session, but then that won't be in the scope of our video today. Hi guys, welcome back. I am back home now with my post-workout lunch, roughly half an hour after my workout. I'm going to have Chinese food takeout today. So we have some steamed pork patty, a lot of veg, some steamed egg hidden down there, and also a little bit of rice. Similar to your pre-workout nutrition in terms of post-workout nutrition, protein and also good carbohydrate intake are going to be key. Um, so make sure you are getting some good sources of protein in your meal after your workout and also some form of carbohydrate to really refuel your glycogen levels. Having protein after exercise is going to prevent your muscle breakdown and also really help to improve the muscle synthesis. You may also have heard advice around the nutrition timing for protein intake after and workout. I think a lot of people might have heard advice around, you know, having a protein shake or some form of protein intake within 30 minutes after a workout and that's kind of a golden window for protein intake. But actually, if we kind of look at research, there is not a huge difference given the protein intake time after the workout as long as you are having it within a few hours in your next meal. So there's no real need to rush to your next meal. And just to show you guys some studies around the protein intake window, the study here that looked at nutrient timing revisited, is there a post-exercise anabolic window, had really shown that that window is not as definitive as some of us might have thought, unless you are training in a fasted state. But otherwise, in general, that window is really wide and it could vary according to a number of factors. There's also another meta-analysis that looked at the effect of protein timing on muscle strength and hypertrophy. And it really refuted the commonly held belief that the timing of protein intake is critical, but rather indicated that consuming adequate protein in combination with resistant exercise is the key factor in maximizing muscle protein accretion. So it goes to show that the amount of your protein intake is more important than really targeting the the timing here. Lastly, to put everything in perspective, especially for weight loss or fat loss, in the end, what really, really matters is still your overall caloric intake and caloric expenditure. So making sure that you are in a calorie deficit overall is going to be key for you to see results. Planning then become really, really important to make sure that you're staying in the calorie intake ranges that you're aiming for. If you already know your workout schedule for tomorrow, or for the week ahead, then I would strongly recommend you to actually plan your meals ahead as well. Whether you need to prepare that food at home or if you are finding out the restaurants or places that you can grab your healthy meals from. Doing that research and planning beforehand is going to make your life a lot easier and make sure that you stick to the plan. In summary, for most of us who are exercising for general health and also weight management, then our pre and post 
workout meals should contain a good amount of protein, a healthy source of carbohydrate, and it's also really important to make sure that you are having fruits and vegetables so that these micronutrients can really help you boost your recovery, boost your energy level, as well as fight against inflammation. So I hope this video has been helpful for some of you who are wondering what you should be eating before and after workout. Make sure you subscribe to my channel and hit that notification bell button so you don't miss out on my future videos relating to health and also nutrition. Thank you so much for watching. Make sure to also follow my Instagram for more daily updates of food and also exercise. I'll see you guys next time. Bye!